And on the vocal, I did a mono plate. I have two plates working on this song. I have a mono plate just straight down the middle, and then I have a stereo plate here somewhere. So here's another one. So the mono plate is set up like this. So I've used the A plate on the UAD EMT-140. Generally, the B plate is my favorite, but for some reason, like I had this idea of part of the song like being a mono reverb, and then another part being a stereo reverb, and then there's a combination of the two, so we get this different sort of effect. But it just gave me this thing that I hadn't heard before. I sort of rolled with that and had some fun. This lead vocal verb, what is that? I don't remember what I put on that. EMT, surprise. So this is on the C plate. So I've used all the different plate samples on the UAD reverb. So this one is shorter than that mono one. If you remember, that mono plate was around three seconds up the middle. And this one is just over two seconds out to the sides. It'll give you that illusion of more depth of like the reverb going from out here into the middle. The way it decays will be different. And again, it's just this is so technical, nerdy stuff that no one's ever going to notice. It was just something I thought of at the time. I tried it out. It seemed to work. I also like to put this stereo width thing on the reverb return so it sort of opens those up outside the speakers. I think this may have been the first record I did this on, and I've now gone even wider, you know, a little more aggressive with that width control. Rolled off a little bit of bottom end on the back, and on the plugin itself, I've filtered out the, you know, 180 hertz. Crucial part of the sound of this song is that reverb. So I'll play it again with all these effects back on it and just cut to the chase. When you left this town with your windows down in the wilderness inside Let the exits pass all the tar and glass till the road and skyline Hope oh, me love 